Hello and welcome to a Lux Report on YouTube. Rolex might not need its crown to know that it's the king of the Swiss watch industry. According to new data compiled by WatchPro, the iconic Geneva maker accounted for one quarter of the industry's total turnover in 2020. Rolex generated approximately 8.5 billion US dollars in retail sales last year. A figure that means it holds approximately 20, nearly pretty much 25% of the global market for Swiss watches. And that compares to 22% in 2019. This gain in market share is nothing short of impressive, considering it occurred during a global crisis, especially during a year when Rolex reportedly dropped its production by 19%, and that equals around 140,000 watches, and released just 810,000 timepieces last year. This, results, this resulted in Rolex's annual turnover dropping 14% year on year, which is roughly $5.4 billion in 2019 to $4.7 billion in 2020. Overall, it's estimated that the entire Swiss watch industry shrunk by one-third in 2020. Omega was named the world's second largest Swiss watchmaker and sold 500,000 timepieces, while this was quite a dramatic nosedive from the near uh, 800,000 it sold in 2019. The watchmaker still managed to pull in $3 billion. And rounding out the top three is Cartier. The luxury watchmaker actually managed to sell more wristwatch wristwatches in 2020 than previous years, thanks to a 30% reduction in price. Some 490,000 watches were sold, eclipsing 2019's total by 80,000. Of the other big players, Patek Philippe nabbed the fifth spot in terms of market share. Audemars Piguet was seventh, and Breitling came in at 15th. Interestingly, these privately owned watchmakers, along with Rolex, outperformed publicly listed competitors such as LVMH, Swatch Group, Kering and Richmond. Rolex's continued reign over the industry is not exactly surprising. The watchmaker's rise to the top was largely due to product control and basic supply and demand. As such, Last year's low in production may have made the timepieces even more coveted. According to the Real Reel's recent luxury consignment report, the brand ranks number one in watch resale and its timepieces are now selling 1.1 times faster than it did a year ago. Apparently, it takes more than a global crisis to dethrone this king. What do you think about that? Will Rolex stay on top for more years to come, even with the whole supply and demand nightmare that continues, with people unable to get watches that they desire and have to look on the grey market and find them at way over retail? Let me know your feelings and thoughts in the comment section below. And of course, subscribe to us, Lux Report. Click on the bell icon and we'll keep you informed on the latest happenings in the watch world.